how do I get started with Java on uh, VS Code? How do I install it? All you need to do is go to the extension page and the search extension pack for Java. Yeah, the first one from Backstop is the extension you need to do. This extension will install everything for you. There's nearly, well, nearly 12 million uh, developers who are using this. How do they actually use uh, that those extensions to improve their code editing productivity? Yeah, exactly. I will show you how you can use VS Code to new Java file and add a new method and writing code there. For example, I can move my focus to a package and click the new file button and complete the file link here. You will see a new class a structure is will be generated automatically. Also, you can use the Java project view to do the same work. For example, you can new Java class, new Java package. For example, I can select the package first and uh, click the plus button. And then input the class name here. It will generate the class snippet same as the file explorer. So next, I want to add some new method to this class. For example, I want to add a main method. So you can just type main. You will see this uh, main sleeping here. This will generate the static main method. Also, you can generate a public method with a public method sleeping. Also, Add some private static method. As well. So go to the main method. I want to add some trace code. For example, I want to print some message there. So I can use SYS out sleep. This will generate the print line statement for me. Also, I can use SYS, SYS trace. Next, I want to define a list variable. This, this will add the import statement automatically for me. I want to define a list string of, of strings and use race. So you can choose the method to initialize the list variable. Now I want to add some iteration code to, to iterate the list variable. So, so I can choose for each snippet. This will generate the iteration code for me. I can use system out to print each items of the list variable. So next, I want to show you the how the generation features. Before that, I will define a field members first, and then right click the source action menu. You will see it show a group of how the generation features such as generate constructors, get and set hash code. Let me try to generate constructors. Choose the field members and generate get and setters. Also generate hash code and equals. Another how the generation feature I want to introduce is the organized import. For example, I copy a piece of code to another class. You will find it report some missing types. That's because its import statement are missing. So I can use the source action organized import. The hotkey is Alt Shift O. 
this we uh, add the missing import by one click. You will see the missing import That's are all very, resolved. Very productive. That you know, I use that often on on nearly every day, and I can tell you that I just uh, remember the shortcut. And then I, I just use it. So yeah, those are all great features. But what happens if I've got existing uh, code that I need to refactor? How can I refactor existing code, Jimbo? Yeah, refactoring is a very important feature. And we have been continuously improving this part of area. So let me show you how you can discover the refactoring features. First, whenever you move your cursor as you hold, if you see a light bulb, you can click the light bulb. You will see the supported hot actions are listed here. The second approach is to check the refact menu. It will also list the supported refactoring features at the current context. For example, I can select this part of code and extract to a new method. The third refactoring is rename refactory. Since rename is the most useful refactoring feature, you will see there's a separate context menu for that. That is rename simple. The hotkey is F2. I will rename this class to a new name. You will see the file name is updated as well. Yeah, the last way of refactoring is uh, move file between packages. You can go to the file explorer and uh, drag this class to a new package. For example, I drag it to the system package. You will see this code will pop up a dialog and ask you, do you want to preview the refactoring changes with this file move? I will just click preview. So with this, you can observe the upcoming changes in advance. For example, you will see the pack decoration will be updated. So apply. So the remove refactoring is done. You will see pack decoration is updated. So I can drag it back. That that's incredibly fancy. Um, there's a lot that you've shown us today. Where can developers actually get documentation on these features? You can go to howthevisualstudio.com and click docs navigation and uh, find the Java part. You will see there's a refactoring paragraph. In this article, we list all supported refactoring features. And also we, we, we have used some code snippet to demo the before and after change with the refactorings. Please welcome to have a try with these features. Thank you so much today for uh, informing us on editing and refactoring Jimbo. And we look forward to the continued investment that Microsoft is doing with Visual Studio Code Java. Thanks everyone. Yeah, thank you, Rory. And thank you everyone for watching the video. Bye.